One of the things that I love most about fall is the scents. Now, I love the colors. I love all of the glorious colors, but since we moved away from Maine, we don't get to see that full spectrum like we did there. We get a little bit of a fall here in Florida. It's just not the same. So to compensate for that, I really love to up the ante when it comes to the scents because there's just something magical about the scent of apple, the scent of pumpkin, the scent of all of those spices and all of the things that really encapsulate fall. And so for my first hack, I thought it would be really fun to create a non-toxic cleaner that really brought in that fall fail in the sense. This is very, very simple. So I will include the link to the recipe that I used in the description box below. So the first thing that I did is boil the water and cool it. You can use distilled water, but I just used tap water, it boiled it, cooled it, and that worked great for me. Once the water is cooled, you want to pour that into a glass spray bottle. Now you really do want to use the glass one because we are gonna be using some essential oils and I believe that there are properties in essential oils that will break down plastic. So I took the cooled down water, poured it into that bottle, and then I added a teaspoon of baking soda. And then you shake it up, get that baking soda dissolved. And then I added a teaspoon of Castile soap. And then you're gonna add 30 to 35 drops of your favorite essential oil. Now I got these essential oils a couple of years ago. Essential oils go a long way. And then I just used the pumpkin pie scent because that was the one that I was feeling the most. Then I shook it all together and there was our cleaner. Very simple. Feel free to add vinegar or whatever works for your cleaning. But I felt really good about this. It had the baking soda, there's cleaning properties and essential oils. I love that there's a lot of flexibility in this recipe. And then as a little fun thing for our fall purpose cleaner, <laughs> that's what I'm calling it. I made a free printable that you can go to my website, download, and it's got one for every season for fall, winter, spring, and summer. So if you want to switch out your scents for the season, so I'm gonna get four bottles and just label them so I don't have to switch them out and I'll store those glass bottles for when the appropriate time comes around. Now I use this cleaner and it is absolutely amazing. I love it. It smells better than anything that you can find in the store. And what I've learned over the past several months is just how many toxins are in our cleaning supplies, our beauty supplies, our food. My mind is blown. I'm not gonna get on a total soapbox on this, but because of my health issues a few months ago, I really had my eyes opened to the toxins that are there. This cost me about 25 cents to make this bottle. I know what's in it. I know it's toxin free. It's amazing. So I hope this fall purpose cleaner helps you. And if you want me to do some different variations on this cleaner in upcoming episodes, let me know. I really hope you love this because this was one of my favorite hacks from this episode, so enjoy. <laughs> Next up, I wanted to create a pumpkin folded napkin. I like to do some specialty napkins in some Christmas episodes. I've done like a Christmas tree folded napkin and I had seen this on Pinterest and I thought it would be really, really fun to share in this episode. All you're gonna need to do is take a napkin color of your choice. I went with a traditional orange, but you could do it in white or whatever color matches your decor and you're gonna lay it open flat. Then you're gonna put a ring of some sort, like a couple inch ring. You could use a shower curtain ring from the Dollar Tree. You could use a traditional napkin ring. So you put that on the center and then you pull up the center just a couple of inches and then you bring the corners in on each other and tuck them down into that ring by, but still keeping that center part up. And then you do the opposite corners and then you keep doing the corners and tucking that in the center until it naturally creates this little pumpkin. It was so cute, but we need a little stem. So I took a cinnamon stick from my kitchen that I had on hand and tucked that down into the center. And then I just clipped off a little bit of greenery and tucked that next to our cinnamon stick. And there you have it, a very adorable pumpkin that was so easy to do, adds a total fall vibe. You can use this for any dinner party you are having. Thanksgiving, it would be wonderful for that. It's 
definitely going to be on my Thanksgiving table this year. Loved it. It was so, so cute. So easy. Anybody could do this. And I hope you enjoyed that. This next hack is the easiest way to make a fall wreath. And it could potentially be free depending on what you use. So you could go out in, if you have beautiful fall leaves, gather up a whole bunch of clippings from the trees. If you need to like trim up a tree, take a whole bunch of branches and make it out of that because I think that they would dry beautifully and they would look beautiful in the meantime. So that way you could be, well, not completely free. You will need to get a, a form, but I got a whole bunch of fall leaves from the Dollar Tree. Very inexpensive. I think I got 18 for this. And then I got one of the Dollar Tree wire rounds that was in a gold color. I figured then if it peeked through, you wouldn't really notice it because it was already in those gold tones, but you could use the green one for sure. So then I just fluffed out the leaves a little bit and then bunched them together. And then I took zip ties and zip tied them to the wreath form and pulled it nice and snug, clipped off the excess, and I kept doing this in a circular pattern all the way around. And if I felt like there was a bare spot, I would go do one there. And literally this was done in under 10 minutes and it looked so glorious and beautiful on my front porch. And so if you're looking for the easiest way to do a fall wreath, this hack is definitely for you. I saw a similar looking one online. I, I don't remember where it was made from, but it was $200. We made ours for around 20 bucks with all the supplies and everything. So that is a massive savings. Again, you could go and use real authentic fall leaves and do it for even more economical. But I thought this was just a super easy way to get a beautiful fall wreath in your life and I hope it helps you. Okay, so while I was out on my porch, I, it needed a little bit of love. So my son accidentally knocked this over and broke it. So we are going to take that away and clean up the extra glass that he missed. It was a bummer. And from blowing storms in the summer, we get a lot of summer storms. There was leaves and debris, so it needed a little cleanup. So I did it a little sweep up, and then I had these empty black pots probably empty because I am not good with real plants and what was in them died. <laughs> They did last a while though. <laughs> anyway, so it needed a little bit of love, but I wanted it to have some like wow factor, like real impact, but not take a lot of work. My pots were looking a little bit tired, so I took uh, WD-40, which I shared in another hack video, and I refreshed them again. After sharing that hack with you several years ago, I got lots of suggestions from all of you to use furniture wax. I really liked the idea of the furniture wax. I think that that would last um, a little bit better, but I wanted something quick and fast and done. And so that's what I did is I pulled out the WD-40, wiped it down, it was good to go. So then we had shiny pots that were empty, but I didn't want to do anything that I was going to kill and I wanted to make a huge high impact. So I found this greenery at Hobby Lobby. I only got two of them because they weren't on sale. I'm going to probably go back and get a couple more. And I just put that on the edge of the pot, kind of fluffed it up. And then I took these ginormous pumpkins that were huge kind of pricey. I'm not going to lie. They were a bit of an investment, but I feel like this is something that I could use year over year over year. So I was okay with this <laughs> because I, I viewed it as a little bit of an investment, but I took these ginormous pumpkins, sat it on top of this kind of fluffy greenery, and then it kind of gave this visual effect of a pumpkin patch with these giant pumpkins. Now I thought it would be really cute to stack them up. So maybe over the years, I'll add a couple more. It, let me know if you like this look, but I thought this was such high impact for very little effort. This, I mean, literally, it took me longer to polish up my pots than to put together this little topiary thing with the ginormous pumpkins. You could use real pumpkins, you could stack them up. There's a lot of options on that. If you do decide to um, stack them up, I would recommend sticking a dowel through it just so they stay together. These are heavy enough that and, and secure enough how they are that I don't think that there's gonna be any issues with blowing wind, but I love this. 
I think it's so high impact, so cute, and again, so, so easy, and has that fall vibe that will last through Halloween, Thanksgiving, all of that. <laughs> I mean, it is August and I'm doing this. I wonder what my neighbors are thinking of me. I think they've gotten used to my premature holiday decorating by now. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> On that note, you saw how simple I went for my front porch this time around. Now, this may actually surprise a lot of you who've been watching my channel for a while. I am not the biggest holiday decorator out there, other than Christmas. I really do like to decorate and go all out for Christmas. And this is why I say it might surprise because I've made a lot of holiday decor on this channel. But when it comes to me and what I like to do is I like to keep it kind of simple. So this next hack is for those of you who may not want to go all out for fall, but want to bring in some of those vibes. And that is just adding little elements of fall to your everyday decor pieces. For example, this uh, arrangement behind me, I just tucked in a couple of green pumpkins into this arrangement. It already matched. It, I didn't have to rearrange it. I didn't have to move it. I didn't have to find a place to store it. And I just added a couple of pumpkins in. And then I also set another pumpkin next to it that was in the same kind of tones and a couple of other pumpkins on the other side. So just adding those little little touches of fall to your existing decor without having to totally do an overhaul is just a simple way to bring in the fall without all of the effort, I guess you would say. So look for little places to like switch out one pillow. Like in my on my bed, I've switched out and put one fall pillow out. The rest is all of my regular decor. Didn't redo it all, but it still brings in that kind of fall feeling that I love. <laughs> so I hope that helps you. Just think outside the box if you're not going to go all out on decorating for the seasons. Now, while I don't like go all out usually for the seasonal decor, what I do absolutely love is a good ball party. I, li I like to have party. I like to have fun. And so I thought it would be fun to throw in a couple of entertaining things for fall. They're simple and easy ways to bring it in without a lot of work. So this first one is a fall punch. Now this all hinges on getting a pumpkin shaped glass drink dispenser or punch bowl. If you can find one in a thrift store, great. I will link the one that I bought off of Amazon and it is just so adorable. I think that there's one on Williams Sonoma that's very, very beautiful as well. That's another thing that I like to do that's easy is I do have a lot of pumpkin pots that I like to pull out for the season and use them to cook my soups and all of that to bring in that fall feel and I'll leave them on the stove and such. This drink dispenser is really, really cute, but it's clear. So what we are gonna do is make it orange <laughs> by drinks. And so this recipe, I did one container of orange juice, one container of carrot juice, and a little thing of Sprite. And that carrot juice really does up the orange level. But what I will say is this was a little out of proportion. So you're gonna wanna taste this on your own. It was a little too strong on the carrot vibes. I'm gonna tell you that up front. I think if you went and got another orange drink, like mango peach that you could add to it and maybe pull back a little bit on the carrot juice, there would be a little bit more balance. So play around. Like I said, it was a little heavy on the carrot, still tasted good. <laughs> Of course, then you're gonna add ice and then I sliced up some oranges just to embellish it, make it feel special, right? And then to add that garden element, the pumpkin patch feel or the leaf, I just clipped off a little pieces of mint and floated them around. Now in the inspiration uh, recipe that I found, they it did little gummy frogs, little gummy worms. So that could be really fun if you're doing it for like a Halloween party. But if you're doing it for just any time fall, I really liked the elegance of doing the little mint sprigs on the top of this. Super, super cute. Play with the flavors to meet your needs. Um, I even think it would be fun to do like a tomato juice based one. So there's a lot of options there. Just think orange punch inside this beautiful clear glass of pumpkin. It just really makes it feel special sometimes with just the elements of decor that you use, like a pumpkin shaped drink dispenser. Next up, if you're looking for a way to bring fall into a dinner party, then you're gonna love this next hack because 
all it is is leaf shaped biscuits. Just because this is a hack video, I wanted to keep it as simple as possible. And I took some pop-up grand biscuits and kind of flattened them out just a touch, not much, just a little bit. Then I took a leaf cookie cutter, pressed it down and cut them all out that way. Now, I'm all for homemade biscuits, so totally go that route if you can. This was just like, if you're in a hurry, in a pinch, this worked out really great. I'm telling you, it looks so cute. Served with a white chicken chili that I made for dinner. It would be really cute to use them and make little breakfast sandwiches. If you were having like a fall breakfast get together, you could use that as the biscuit, biscuits and gravy, fall leaf. It all just feels a little bit special when you cut it out with just a different shape. I will say that I did try to use like the peel off of the excess to make another biscuit. It didn't really work out well. So just, just as a little FYI um, on those like pop-up biscuits, you can't really reuse those. It looked weird. <laughs> But I thought this was so adorable and such a way to bring in the fall without hardly any effort. And that's the point of all these hacks, right? Is easy, easy. Next up, we are gonna make a really simple and easy centerpiece or piece of decor if you wanted to put it on like a fall buffet. The idea is, is making a pumpkin shaped floral arrangement. So I just, you soak some wet floral foam. This is different than the dry stuff. This is meant to soak up a bunch of water to feed fresh flowers. So you let that soak until it's nice and heavy and it's full of water. And then I just kind of cut it out in like a round sphere. This is not going to be perfectly pumpkin shape. If you really want to take the time to really get it down perfect, you, you could do that. But this is going to be more spherical than a pumpkin, right? <laughs> and then I bought these orange roses at the grocery store. Buy one, get one free. It was a really good deal. They were a little blown out because I had had them a couple days before I was able to film this, but that was actually good because they were a little bit bigger and substantial. I've done this before using chrysanthemums and like button mums. That actually works really, really great as well. And so the idea is just you cut them down short, shove it all in, make it kind of as round and spherical as possible. Then you're gonna need something as a stem. I tried a little, like a little branch that I cut off of my uh, bush. It was too short, too scrawny. So I ended up taking a dowel that had been outside and weathered a little bit, cutting it down, putting that in the center, and then taking a couple of leaves that I clipped off of that same bush, tucking that in to be the leaves. You get the idea when it's orange and it has the stem with the leaf. Maybe it looks a little bit like an apple, but that's still fall-like, right? But with the orange color, I think most people will get that it's supposed to be a pumpkin. It's super cute. Use it as a centerpiece for a get-together. And I hope you enjoyed that one. So I always like to throw in like a fun little easy treat that is very thematic and, and really pulls in holiday vibes, whatever the season is, but with very little effort. So this time we're gonna make a little donut acorn. And we're gonna do this by taking a donut hole already made at the store and then we're going to grab some Nutella and spread that on the top and then you can pick whatever topping you want to kind of give it that crunchy detail of the, the acorn. You could use sprinkles, you could use toasted coconut, you could use chopped up nuts. In my case I used some chopped up toffee pieces, pressed that down into it and then I used half of a pretzel stick and shoved that down into our little faux acorn and these turned out so cute. Now as I went along instead of spreading on the Nutella with a knife I just don't it right down into the jar it went great and just kept pressing on those toffee pieces with the pretzel stick and they turned out so cute so easy but better yet everybody that said they tasted so good they loved them this was a total hit so easy and an acorn, it screams fall and it took no time. And so I hope that helps you in some of your entertaining. Now back to the fall scents, bringing that in to really get that vibe. I had some potpourri that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. Now this would be really easy if you could go out and pick up some pine cones, depending on where you live, you can gather your own pine cones for absolutely free. If you do that though, they do suggest baking them in the oven to kill any 
bugs that kind of creeped me out. So I got mine at Hobby Lobby and then I took some of those same essential oils that we uh, spiced up our cleaner with to, and I just dripped that over the pine cones. So every time I walk by, I can get a little whiff of that fall scents that really elevate my fall spirit. And it was super easy, just a couple of drops of essential oil. So I hope you enjoyed that. Well, I hope you enjoyed all of those fall hacks. If so, here's 10 more that I think you're gonna love just as much. And to all of my DIY goddesses out there, you are more powerful than you know. We'll see you next time. Bye.